we often start by looking back and in this case we have to go to 2021 last year three wins during the month of December they were very tough games on paper and turned out to be likewise mm -hmm. on the pitch as well how key do you think those three victories during the month of December will be come the end of the season well yeah I think they would they were more important probably for ourselves as a team I think and a, and a club I think those, I'm pretty sure looking back to them, those three or four wins came after we'd lost to Aber on the Tuesday night. There was a small sort of break and then we really highlighted the next group of games leading into Christmas as really where we wanted to get back on track results wise, where we wanted to get three points and really put in some good performances. And you're right, they were all tough games um, in that period. We had, we had Pennybomb, we had um, Barry, we had Bala and I think Newtown was in there somewhere as well during that bit. So. They were all tough games on paper and glad to get the three points. We didn't want to stop and have a break over Christmas. We were ready to carry on and we were, we were, we were um, keen to continue that good run of form. Now, although we've had a break, we've made use of that time over Christmas and now we've had sort of what you would call a mini pre-season getting ready for the next group of games. So, yeah, I'd say it was important, those ones, and, and, and they're good, good to get those points on the board leading into the, the, the break that we, was enforced in the end. And in reference to the fact that we've had no games, we've still been training. How different has training been this week, knowing that there's actually a game to look forward to come Friday evening? Yeah, well, I mean, listen, all players want to play in games. They don't want to do any training, do they? So they're definitely looking forward to that. But it's been good because, like I said, we've had two and a half, almost three weeks of a miniature pre-season to get where the first week in a bit we've been able to go a little bit more physically harder with the team. Um, to get more work into the legs, to really push them more, to get them ready. This week we've had to taper that down a little bit because there is a match day coming up on the Friday. So we've had a couple of friendly games as well which have been valuable to get minutes and just not just from a physical point of view but to get the timing back and the relationships in the team and whatnot. So I feel like we're in a decent place. We've had a good week of, of preparation for this, what's going to be no doubt a tough game on Friday night. And we do like to look at statistics as well. We've scored more goals than anyone else in the league. We've got the best goal difference. However, we have conceded 13. No clean sheet at all during December. Is that an area of concern going into January? Or is it all about the big picture, the fact that we are top of the table and overall in a very healthy position? Well, I think it's both. I think you need the points, but you also need the performances as well. And some of the goals we've conceded we haven't been that happy with from a whole team's point of view. I'm not just talking about the defenders here or, or necessarily a goalkeeper or midfielders, but as a whole team, a couple of the games, we've, we've had the games won, you could say, but we've conceded, which has been quite sort of a sloppy or, or uncharacteristic goal for us. And there's definitely areas that we've worked on constantly and we have been working on for, for a lot of the season. Um, I think the first and foremost important to get the wins in those games, of course. But yeah, it's definitely an area that we're looking at and we, we want to continue to get better at. And Because I really feel like, especially our home form's very good. We, we've won all the games at home so far this year, and including in Europe as well, that if we do keep a clean sheet, then that gives us a great platform to, to get the win in the game. Because I think with the attacking threats we've got, we, we can create and have created a lot of chances and, and can score against anyone really so yeah we want to make sure we keep those clean sheets and the defenders and the goalkeepers especially are very keen on doing that and those four wins on the bounce means that we do have a 12 point lead at the top of the table I can speak now from a personal perspective friendly with the players we have personal chats and conversations and I can say that with all honesty that there's no complacency there's no arrogance there are no assumptions in the squad that you've got. Is that something that you've instilled within the players themselves or it, does it come with being a professional footballer mm. and being here at the New Saints? Do you know what, it's without doubt been both and it's not a sitting on the fence answer. I think that the staff, myself, Chris Sargent, all the other support staff who have been fantastic, there's a real um, energy and desire to want to get better and improve and do well. There's definitely areas that we can improve. I've said that from the start, albeit no matter how much you're in front, we can, there's definitely bits we can improve. So the staff do drive that, definitely, there's no doubt there. But I must say the players are very, um, they are very professional. They've worked very hard this season so far, especially this season. And I think they're really determined to, to improve on last season. We've said before that we came second, very close second, to Connors Key, who have won the league for the last two years in a row. So there's no doubt that we're still chasing them and going into this game on Friday. 
we still owe them, do you know what I mean? Because they've won the league for the last two years and we want to improve and get better. So we always say that we are still chasing them and, and that this is no de- no change from that come Friday in the game. So we're determined with that and the players want to want to win and, and want to improve and get better. And I think they've been very, very professional and need to be commended for that, especially the senior players in the group um, who have been here for a while and are clearly winners and want to get back to that. I think they've been excellent so far this season. So... Yeah, I would agree with you there. There's no complacency. We're working hard and, and we want to get the win on Friday night. And it is, as you say, Connors Key Nomads on Friday here at Park Hall. They are an informed team. Mm. They're the only side unbeaten in the last five games mm. in the JD Cymru Premier. They don't score many goals, just 18 so far. However, they don't concede mm. too many either, just nine. Does that suggest that it will be a close game? Well, yeah, what it, what it suggests, not just the stats suggest it, but it's always a tough game. I mean, since I've been here, the games that we've had, we had a, a, a game where they deservedly won and won easily 4-1 here that we, we don't forget. So we remember that game as a as staff and as players. So we feel like we need to, to, to perform well at home since we played here last time. We've played them twice away and won 1-0, but a, a disallowed goal at the end could have mean that it would have been a 1-1 draw, so it showed how tight it was. And then we had another 0-0 draw away there at the end of the season. They're the games that I've been involved in. And one thing I'd say, it's always a physical encounter. It's always a, a, a very competitive game, a highly competitive game, because the teams have been so close for so long with the league. And I think no matter where the points are, where the table is, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a, a very tough game. And I think one of our toughest games at home this season, without a doubt. So we're under no illusion of that. There's a great rivalry between the two teams. Um, I've got a lot of respect for the manager, Craig Harrison. I think he's very good. I hear a lot of things about him from here, from the players who speak really highly about him. And watching his team, they're very organised. He gets them set up really well. I saw them beat Bala, um twice in very good performances very good performances so they can do that to those teams and very good team like Bala then then I think they're they're a real threat and like you say I'm not surprised that they're high on that form chart at the moment and in our last conversation we sat in the dugout after training yeah. here at Park Hall and one of the questions that I asked you was are we likely to see any new signings during January well we have Alex Denny has put pen to paper here at Park Hall how long was he on your radar for before you finally got your man? Yeah, no, he's one that we've been watching for a while and looking at. Um, I think he was, it was hard not to notice him. He's had a good pedigree, been at Everton and played for England and gone into the men's football and probably not had as many games as he would have liked himself. But one that we'd seen from afar for a while and, and made sure we did a lot of good work on him and due diligence on what sort of character he was, what sort of player he was and how he'd fit into the dressing room, which was important. I think the age is important as well. He's an up and coming player and one with a good future and one who can kick on and improve at, at, at the tender age that he is. So yeah, we're really pleased with that. He's coming and fitted in with a group well. He's hungry, he wants to do well and he's, he's, been, well, he's been good so far and, and played in a few friendly games and we've been impressed with him. So we're happy with that. And of course, what fans in particular want to know is are we likely to see more incomings mm. to Park Hall during January? Yeah, well, the important thing I mentioned there is just making sure that we get the right characters in and the right players. So there's a lot of good players out there in the Welsh League and also in the other leagues that we constantly look at. Um, There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. I've said that before. It really is a team effort here with recruitment, and that's important. So if the right ones become available and we feel like they'll add to not just the squad but also the starting lineup, then that could see us do a little bit more business in this window. If not, though, very happy with the squad that we've got. I think they're doing very well. There's good really healthy competition for places in some real key areas and some people who have missed out on game time so far which is difficult so only if it's really the right players as i said the right characters and ones that are really going to make us better then we'll we'll look to go back in the market and the game on friday is not just a return to league football for the new saints and the other clubs but also it's fans welcome as well which is a, a massive positive are the fans likely to see Alex Denny at some point against Connors Key Nomads this Friday? Yeah, they'll see him in the stadium, but whether it's on the pitch or not, we'll have to wait and see. But no, we, I mean, just to mention on the fans there, we've got um, a few loyal fans who come to every game and it was, it was heartbreaking for them over Christmas, for, in my opinion, for them not to be able to come and watch um, our games in what the club and myself believe is a really safe environment um, where I could think of a lot more other um, things you'd be doing would be a lot more dangerous and coming watching one of our games and for those people there 
that's that's what they live for. They come on Boxing Day, they come on New Year's Day, and spend time with their friends and their family at the games and share the matches with us and the players. So. First of all, I'm really glad that they're back in. I think that's fantastic. I'm really glad that we're starting up again because I think there was probably no secret um, from myself and everyone at the club that we didn't want to have a break. We didn't think there should have been a break and we, we should have continued on. So to have only missed that little period of time over Christmas and now be back into it and having the fans back is, is brilliant. I mean, where the game after that going to Carnarvon, I'm not sure on the rules of how many fans can come, but I know or I've heard in the past that they get a lot of fans. Um, albeit when I played there last time, there, there were no fans or people peering over the top of the fence. So really looking forward to that one as well. And for those clubs and for our club as well, even though our attendances are, are, are small, it's really important for those hardcore fans to, to come and watch their team play. And, and we're just, we're buzzing that they're coming back. So we're really happy. And finally, as we always ask, what's the availability of players? And how's the managerial selection headache with such a strong squad to choose from when you can only put 11 players out there on the pitch to start the game. Yeah, of course, and it's probably difficult selection this this time around in particular because we've only had some friendly games to go by form as well. Sometimes when you're playing week in, week out in the leagues and you're seeing the players up close and you might have to rotate or change people around, you're sort of judging on a little bit of what happened before Christmas, but then also how people have trained this week, but then also as well what you think is the best team tactically to win the game against a, a, a tough team, Connor's key, getting the right mix of experience and youth, etc. So it's a really hard team to pick this week and not just the ones who are starting, but the ones who are finishing the game as well. So I think that's going to be a challenge. But in terms of the selection, um, everyone mostly fit, apart from Keston Davies, who unfortunately has had to go in and, and, and have an operation on his knee. Um, he's going to be out for some time, but hopefully not too long. That operation's gone well and he's had that last week. So we're hoping that he's back soon and he, and he comes back to a good recovery, a good player who's done really well for us this season. So we wish him all the best on his recovery back and um, look forward to having him back. But apart from that, we're, we're almost good to go.